as we have seen in previous videos you can uh, have a weak acid or a strong acid you can have a strong acid like hydrochloric acid which in a water solution gives you a full dissociation of hydrogen protons and chlorine ions you can also have a weak acid such as hydrofluoric acid which will give you not a full dissociation but partial and for this instance we will take a weak acid we will write in this expression which we can have in an aqueous solution and the A ion what A stands for, it can be NH3+, which when you have the weak acid symbol, it will give you NH4+, ammonium. You have a fluoride uh, atom, so you can have hydrofluoric acid. You have an uh, ethanoic ion, which will give you an ethanoic acid as your weak acid. Now, this is the acid part. And this is the conjugate base. Now what this does is you can take the conjugate base and do the exact opposite reaction, uh, which means uh, dilute it in water and react it with one molecule of water. What you're going to get, let's write the word down. This ion, this A- ion, will receive one hydrogen proton from the water and will give us this let's write also the aqueous in the a minus and the remaining hydroxide ion from that one molecule of water what you can do right here is I'll change color in this reaction we can write the equilibrium constant for the weak acid this is the ka it will be the product of the products over the reactants so we take the concentrations over the concentration of the weak acid and in this situation when you have the weak base it will be the concentration of the acid times the concentration of hydroxide over the concentration of the A- minus. what we want to do here is find a um, expression that combines both the Ka and the Kb. What we do is multiply these two expressions Ka times Kb. So let me write this down once again for the math part of this expression times concentration over here so we're done with the tricky part now what we see here is that this can cross out with this and this can cross out with that so what you end up is that Ka times Kb equals the concentration of hydrogen atoms times the con no wrong color times the concentration of the hydroxide this in any water solution at a temperature of 25 degrees you have seen that this is 10 in the minus 7 this is also 10 in the minus 7 that will give us a result of 10 in the minus 14 let me remember 25 degrees celsius so uh, in any solution that combines that has in it a weak base and its conjugate acid or a weak acid its conjugate base uh, this gives us the relationship between the concentration of uh, hydrogen protons and hydroxide uh, ions that means that uh, when you put acid in the solution more acid this will increase but this, this will decrease in such a great that the product will always be 10 in the minus 14 always at 25 degrees celsius if you put some hydroxide ions then this will decrease in order to keep the product constant and 10 in the minus 14 so let's see something else that derives from this expression if we take and put a log a minus log in both this 
kb minus log changing colors has turned out to be a little tricky now what happens here is that if you use the properties of logs and this has a base of 10 you can have log ka plus the minus log of kb and in the right part of the equation you have log of the concentration of hydrogen plus which comes from the properties of the logarithms plus the minus log of the hydroxide what these give us change color to the green again this minus log ka equals to pka and you have uh, the quantity let's say x if you put a minus log of x this is equals to px so uh, minus log ka it will equal pka plus pkb and this will equal the minus log of the hydrogen concentration it will be ph and plus the poh now this we have seen before this is always 14 at 25 degrees celsius so the expression that we end up is that pka plus pkb will always be 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. I can strong, uh, I can tell you how much this is important. If we change the temperature, this will change. It will go to 13 to 15 to 16. Only at 25 degrees Celsius, this will be 14. This uh, relationship can be used only for a conjugate pair, meaning that uh, you can have ammonium, ammonia, and ammonium. The pKa of the acid of ammonium plus the pkb of ammonia this is the base it will equal 14. so if for example we give us that the pka of the nh4 is 9.25 i can calculate the pkb of ammonia that means that pkb of ammonia will be 14 minus 2, 9 to 5, it will equal 4.75. This is very practical in equilibrium reactions for calculating the pH and pOH of weak acids and bases.